little update on my little tomato world stuff going on here. This is the um, Cherokee purple. And the thing about this plant is it's really small. It's only about two and a half feet tall. And but it has full size tomatoes on it. So I'm just letting that one go. This is the cherry. It had a a bad case of black spot disease and I ended up spraying some copper. And uh, it's now just starting to get get going again. It's you know flushed back out. It it was looking sickly. There's a little bit of a red one there. I picked I've picked about three or four tomatoes off it. But I don't count cherry tomatoes as my first tomato of the season. I usually have a full-size tomato by July 4th. That's kind of a goal I have. We'll see. This is the Roma. I had an attack of um, uh, fruit, the fruit caterpillars. I forget the exact name of them, but it's not the green hornworm. It's the the, the striped caterpillars. That, I had a pretty good bout with those guys, and I used a um, just just a homemade mixture of pepper and garlic <clears throat> and that didn't do too much so I went and got some Safer's brand organic um, uh, insect soap and that doesn't really have a total uh, it's not aimed at caterpillars but it actually did help quite a bit and uh, I let them go ahead and chew some of the plants but they're doing good this is the uh, uh, brandy one and it's probably six foot, I guess about, which is good for me. I've, that's for that. That's pretty tall for most of the plants I've ever grown before. So that's kind of a record at this part of the year, about six foot. So I'm real proud of that one. I've, there's another Cherokee purple blooms out the yin yang. Uh, it's got a couple tomatoes on it, but you know. The, we're in the heat of summer now, so things are going to slow down. I'm just hoping those blooms will, you know, survive. Another Cherokee purple, or uh, no, brandy wine. It's about almost as tall as the other. And um, so I'm going to, I'm real proud of these. I grew these from seed from a plant I grew last year that did so well. Well, they're doing even better this year. And if I save the seeds, I'm hoping, man, it'll do even better than next year. Here's one that's at least a pound already. But uh, they got a ways to go before they ripen, and I'm sure it'll grow a little bigger. But there's a, as you can see, this is the brandy wine. Uh, I've got a German Johnson that's real stubborn. It doesn't put out a lot of tomatoes or blooms. But, um,. It's got some tomatoes on it. There's one that's probably half a pound. But, so, yeah, it's a good, good document. I might try this one again. I mean, it's a pretty, pretty good sized plant. About five foot, maybe. Um, there's the Roma from the other side. And it is just laden with the... I'm going to have to cut some holes in these cages to kind of let the plant bush out a little bit so we can get to the tomatoes. This, this is the cherry. That's, pro, that's the tallest plant of all of them. It's almost seven foot. It's kind of hard to tell by the video, but I don't care how tall it gets. I'm just waiting to get some tomatoes, to be honest. But anyway, that's a little tour of my garden bed, or my tomato bed, I should say, so, uh, tomato sector, <laughs> and uh, thanks for watching.